welcome again friends uh, uh, this tutorial is uh, is to tell you about some important problems regarding odd man out series uh, i hope that you know what is odd man out series so let me let me talk about some about series now when you talk about it's a very bad writing anyways let's let's start here like that okay so when you talk about series or series uh, what we usually know about it is uh, this is a uh, uh, segment or some some uh, some values some numbers actually that those are called series so let's say numbers like like 3 5 7 9 11 and so on so if we look at it it's a kind of series let's say here 3 uh, 5 uh, then 8 then 13 21 this is also a series so these are some couple of numbers some some numbers these these are called series now what is important feature about this series that that this this type of numbers or arrangement because each of these are different type of numbers now those numbers are definitely have some relationship some kind of relationship relationships with each other now we need to find that relation with each other once we find this relation it will be easier for us to crack that series right so what do you mean by cracking that series usually problems uh, regarding series can come in two different ways one type of problem can be like they can ask you let's say they they just for example like this they they just put you 3 5 then a gap then 13 21 so they ask you what is this middle value we know this is 8 and how could you know this is 8 we'll be talking about it later but this is a kind of series or they can also ask you something like like let's say let's the first one say let's say they put it like this way and they ask you uh, just take the odd one out of this series now in this series the odd one is this 8 so we just uh, cut it out of this series right so this are, these are the type of questions that are going to come from series related problems and i'm telling you in any kind of uh, in any kind of competitive exam you are going to get at least one type of series uh, in your exam so so it is very much important for for your uh, aptitude test okay so that relation that i've talked about there is a relation between these numbers of a series now what are those type of relation now let's talk about the examples here that i've talked uh, here normally in this case now the relation so 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 let's say here 3 then 5 then 7 so what we can see here actually 3 if we add plus 2 with 3 we get 5 add plus 2 with this 5 we get 7 add plus 2 with 7 we get 9 add plus 2 with 9 we get 11 so uh, these are the sec different sections of how can we get this whole series so simply the series here if we consider each of this section as a number as i and the series is simply i plus 2 and that's how it's going so i plus 2 again we consider it as i again plus 2 right so this is how the series is actually progressing and similarly if we look at in this second one what we usually know here let's say 3 5 uh, then 8 that is 3 plus 5 8 then 8 plus 5 13 then 13 plus 8 21 so what we know about this is if we consider this as i1 this as i2 then the series is going on like i1 plus i2 is going to give you i and this i of this this place is again will be i1 and that will be again i2 which is in this case i2 will be 13 so i1 is 8 again so it will be again 21 so this is a series according to this so we can see there are different arrangement and different possibilities are there that is what it is making this kind of problems very much difficult to solve because there is no known formulas for this kind of problems it's actually depending upon your practice of how you you will crack this type of problems so but again i'm going to tell you some simple tricks uh, that can help you but it's not do do not take anything from granted for this particular purpose okay so let's let's talk about here now mostly most of the time if if this series majorly are made up with two digit numbers because this is most common two digit two digit numbers sometimes they can also have three digit numbers okay so usually if they are of two two digit numbers then usually uh, those series uh, normally can be uh, the relationship between those numbers in series they can be of odd number 
they all all of them can be just uh, related with odd number or they can be related with even number or they can be related with prime number so you need to check for these things first odd number even number prime number whether there is any relationship uh, is there or not as you can see here uh, this in this series also if you just forget about plus 2 if you look at this series all of them are of odd number so again this is a kind of series that we get okay so if 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 suppose somebody put a 12 here and they ask you take the odd one out you can simply take 12 out of it because 12 is even number rest of all of them are odd right so that's kind of it prime number you can look for it except for that you can look for addition of numbers just like addition of 2 in this case then addition of the numbers with each other that we have seen in this second example then deletion of certain number for example let's say let's let's make a series here for for this example let's say let's say 4 then let's say uh, after 4 let's let's assume let is uh, so let's if if we talk about deletion of numbers usually let's talk about like that normally say 12 then let's assume 9 then let's say 6 and so on so you can see that we simply deleting minus 3 with from 12 is 9 minus 3 of 9 is 6 and so on right so deletion can be a part of it there can be multiplication or uh, division can also be there but these are very 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 rare multiplication can be mostly addition or deletion can be there okay except for that uh, you can have uh, so these are the major type of relation that you are going to see there and among three digit numbers most of the time this is a true fact that I'm going to talk about the three three digit numbers like 386 okay uh, or let's not let's let's put 336 here let's then put 8 uh, 8 to 6 like that uh, let's put uh, 6 6 to 4 and so on so if we look at this series 336 8 to 6 6 to 4 you definitely don't have any clue of, of what is going on but believe me for 3g three digit numbers most of the time you need to look for the middle value look for the middle one middle value and try to get the answer of the middle value by adding the terminal numbers or by subtracting the terminal numbers so this is this is a kind of logic this is the kind of rule that I have followed actually most of the time it works okay but never take it take it for granted anyways so you can see you can see here so actually actually it should be 6 it should be 3 here sorry so this should be 6 and this should be 3 okay so if you look at here uh, in the first place that 6 minus 3 will get you a 3 8 minus 6 will get you a 2 6 minus 4 will get you a 2 so what is going on here that if you delete the third uh, the last number from the first digit you get the middle digit in all these cases so you, you see the pattern now in any kind of series related problems you need to identify the pattern that is there pattern or simply you call it a relationship whatever you call pattern or relationship you need to find that pattern once you find that pattern it will be super easy for you to calculate right so this is a series that you, you have seen that uh, in this series is simply deletion of the third digit from the first digit it will give you the middle digit most of the time this can be a result of deletion or sometimes it, it can also be a uh, result of addition and if you look at the addition of same process you can you can simply say that 693 uh, and for for let's say uh, 792 let's say 693 in all these cases as you can see 6, ni 6 plus 3 get you 9, 7 plus 2 get you 9, 6 plus 3 again 9 so again in these cases third digit plus first digit give you the middle digit most of the time this kind of problem either, a neg uh, either 
either uh, first and third digit neg uh, minus will give you the middle digit or sometimes addition of the first and third digit gives you the middle digit these are the different way of uh, getting actual results but actually mm, there is no rule for solving this kind of series problems but you can look at it at, at this type of uh, you can sequentially look at the problem like odd even prime addition deletion multiplication and so on many things like that uh, or sometimes and obviously how to, how can you forget squares you need to look for squares squares and cubes also so you need to look for squares or, or cubes because this is also example for example if I put an example here let's say 4 uh, then 9 16 25 if you look at this 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 is telling you that 2 square then the second digit 3 square 4 square 5 square so what is going to be the next number definitely it will be is it going to be 6 square so it will be 36 right that's how you can calculate the results so squares you need to look for squares or cubes in in this case also right for the two digit numbers and for three digit numbers you need to look for this addition or deletion kind of thing by keeping the middle digit as an example okay so these are the different rules that you can follow but again there is no uh, fixed rules for solving these problems so I think this this will uh, kind of help you uh, for solving the problems because we'll be solving problems and we'll be implicating all of these rules to solve those problems and I hope that's helpful thank you guys